<laughs> you just like your repair. I'm going to try changing some brakes on the Craftsman tractor. Ugh. Nobody ever changed the brakes on that tractor. But we're going to start by taking off these two half inch, I think. There they are. And there's not much information on changing brakes on a riding mower. Take the spring off too. Grab me a pair of needles, vice grips. Yeah, I think it'd be real hard to get this bolt out without taking this spring off. Maybe a screwdriver. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna get a screwdriver. So we get behind it. Try the screwdriver. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get whooped by a little spring. We can get the other side off. We've been going about this the wrong way. Yeah, much easier. Like I said, there's not a lot of info on changes. In fact, the brakes, they say unavailable. We'll find out here. I got something that says it'll fit them, but we don't know until we get this part. Well, there went something falling out. Here's a brake. Brake shoe number one. I guess this is a shim. Where the heck is the second brake shoe? Oh, I'm behind it. Ooh, here goes the bee. <laughs> Slide this off his arm so you can see it. Here you have it, brake shoe shit sits right in there. Actually, the brake shoes were pretty decent on this. Oops, there's a pin. Maybe it's the inner brake. I'm not sure how this comes off. I see a key right here. It just slides off. <laughs> Neither one of these brakes were that bad. I think we're gonna. You know what? Let's look at the new ones. Brand new set of Taiwan ones. And they're too small. Well, they, uh. They would have worked, but they're, they're too small. We're gonna pause this for a second here. We're gonna go take a measurement on this brake shoe so I can uh, order up a different set. But uh, looks like it just needs to be adjusted. All right, hang on a second. All right, we got a caliper out here. We'll take a, take a measurement on the brake. Inch and 1.350, 1 so an inch and three eighths. All right, since this wasn't so hard to get apart. <laughs> I think we'll get the air gun out. <laughs> uh, move that shit out of the way, move that brake. Brake bracket. It looks like somehow you can adjust it just it here. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but we'll take a look at it. We gotta put it back together. I 
Let me get bungee cord and tie that thing up. Got me a oh, bungee type thing. I wouldn't call it a bungee cord. She's pretty stressed, but I can throw this out when I'm done. That way I don't grab it again. <laughs> I keep that up and out of the way. All right, we're gonna pause you. We're gonna go get the move the stuff out of the way. Get the air gun. Get this uh, get all this dirt cleaned off here. All right, we're back. We you blow off some of the dirt. Kind of, this is a, let me show you what this is. This is a tractor snowblower only. I don't, I don't, I don't cut the grass with this. Or I got a brand new deck for it, but uh, yeah, snowblower only. Picked this up for a couple hundred bucks last, last winter. Uh, we're going to fix it, resell it off, and then I decided it wasn't the, the, the use was way more than, than what it was worth to sell. So, the is really good. Tractor runs good. So, uh, so there's no sense in selling it all. You know, we get, get a lot of snow here in New York, so uh, it's worth more to keep it. Anyway, set you back down. Get these uh, shoes back in. Figure out how to adjust them. Let's turn the one shoe over. Plate back in. Put the plate back in the cup here. It's gonna turn the brake over, but it looks like it's gonna flake. Yeah, it's gonna flake off in the rear. Let me just turn that around. Their inside shoe back in. Brake disc back on. Line up at the keyway. We're gonna do something which, just to prevent this from getting stuck. We're gonna put some anesthes on this. Got our aluminum and I see paste here. Right there, by permit, I think by Permatex. This will, uh, in case uh, I do get the right brakes, you know, if it's a two months from now, so this will make sure that uh, the brake rotor doesn't get seized on the, on the shaft here. With the key, do that again. Didn't have it lined up right. Key keeps sliding back. There we go. It's your boy right now. Put some anti-seize uh, on these bolts. He's not aluminum. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a juggling match here.
Oops. Almost forgot to put it back on the, the shaft. That would have been bad. <laughs> All right, let's get the bolster in. Look how that went. I don't like the fact I can't see. On my spring. Where did I put the spring? There she is. There's the brake back on. Shoes are in. Set the parking brake in the. See how she works here. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a long. Why is there so much? Seems to be an awful lot. Uh, this is here. I'm just a spring can cut. No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like it's back to where it was. I would think there should be a tire cap in this through here to keep it from coming off the arm all the way. And uh, it needs more push to it, so. I'll have to adjust it here, get it back, but anyway, there it is, it's back on, nothing to it. Easy as can be, uh, tire back on, tire's nothing more than a couple washers, E-clip, slide it on the, slide it on the keyway here, put the washers, the E-clip, dust cover, put the dust cover back over, nothing to it. Uh, Gotta get my weights back on. I think the new set of chains for the tires because uh, this chain's got a big gap between this chain and this chain over here. And that's supposed to be like that. The chains are not for the tires. These are uh, bigger set of chains. Anyway, there you have it. You know, check the brakes out. Here's the other brake shoes. They're a uh, great Taiwan brand. Too small. And anyway, we'll throw them up on the shelf. We'll mark them. Track the brakes. They fit, they, they say they fit the craftsman, they just don't fit this craftsman, so. Yeah, right. At least the brakes were good. It just seems to be an adjustment. Anyway. Yeah. Found this video of any use at all. Like, share, subscribe. Shows how easy it is to take the brakes off, nothing to it. Pull that clip off, a couple, couple washers, slide that tire off, two bolts, and there's the brake shoes right behind there. Anyway, like, share, subscribe if you would, please. Follow me on Instagram. I uh, also have a Facebook page you can uh, go check out, Eugene's Backyard Repair. Anyway, peace!